All right, good. So um, this, we're going we're gonna to step through two others. One is eigenvalue centrality, which is kind of a funny one to make up. And then hubs and authorities, which again is an eigenvalue story, but it's SVD actually. All right. So we're just going to say that nodes have some measure of importance. And we'll generalize that in one way uh, in the next section. But the idea is uh, it's going to depend on the importance of the other nodes, right? So important nodes are connected to important nodes is, is kind of the idea here. OK. Um, it's transmitted through a network. And the simplest thing, so this is something that could be, this, this is, you know, this is baked into so much, but it's really forgotten about. Because it sounds, eigenvalue centrality sounds fantastic. So uh, the idea will be that the importance of node i is somehow proportional to its um, neighbors. And it's simply, this is our adjacency matrix, right? So this is a 1 if um, j points to i, right? So if there's a link going from j to i, which for undirected ones, you know, this is a symmetric thing. Um, <coughs> We could say that this constant so so this is how it's done. This is absolutely how it's done. This constant proportionality that you might end up with here is independent of of node i. So then we have this. So the importance of x as a vector written of the x of the importance of the nodes these, these x values written down as a vector is just the transpose of the adjacency matrix times the um, importance vector again. And so we just you know, bring that constant proportionality over and we have an eigenvalue equation. So it's, it's a, I mean, yeah, you've made some pretty extreme assumptions, I suppose, but it's, it's not bad and it allows you to get somewhere. Uh, and so there's lots of people worry about, you know, what's the size, what does it mean? What does the size of the large, what does it mean? It's just like, what does it mean? Like if it's a 17, what does it mean? Um, what you can get out of this, right, so there's going to be just some, you might sort of say, like, there's no iteration here necessarily, which we'll see in the next section is, is natural, but this is just true, right? It's just sort of one step. Um, and if you kept multiplying by A transpose, you'd get lambda squared, lambda cubed. So there's a sense that you would take the largest one, right? That seems sort of right, even though you're not really... Uh, if you remember, this is, this is somewhat like our walking diffusion thing. We had a K matrix in there as well, uh, which is the degree distribution, uh, the degrees of the nodes on the diagonal. So it's not quite a diffusion thing, but it's similar. Uh, so we're sort of, we, you know, th this was a non-physical thing. So we, you know, being wor really worried about what the eigenvalue means is a bit silly because what does this mean? Um, Anyway, it will give you, so let's say we take the largest eigenvalue because in general that's sort of the, going to be the most important one, and we take the vector associated with that. That's going to have entries in it. And we will say they're the, um, they're the, uh, I mean, this is far enough. they're the importance values, right? Or the centrality. It's the eigenvalue centrality values. We'll just be sitting in this vector. Uh, so we only need the largest eigenvalue, so we can use the power method, right? We don't have to do something. So it's not too bad. That's sort of a pretty achievable thing computationally. We actually would just multiply by A over and over until we you know, clean out X. Um, all right. And that's, that's kind of the plan for that one. Uh, so there are a couple of things. So we'd like these things, right? So we would like a unique solution. That would be good. Right, you don't want two different complete sets of, you know, two different. You could have two dominant eigenvalues and uh, that are the same and repeated eigenvalues. That would be bad. Lambda being real, that would be helpful because if it's complex, we don't even know what we're doing. Uh, it'd be good if the entries were real. You know, non-negative would sort of help as well because that's just sort of makes sense. But again, they don't have to be. I suppose if they are negative, then you've still just got your ranking. But it just feels wrong for someone to have a negative importance. Um, of course, if, if you've got links that are negative, you know, that have negative weights, right, there are, like this actor's, you know, impact on this one is negative, then, you know, all sorts of things could happen. Uh, well, that's probably a stretch. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so what does it mean if you know one of them is five times? So it's going to be the ordering, yeah. Um, these are some strong things. So we'd like maybe maybe the highest, right? That always feels like something's going well because it's just sort of consistent. Uh, you don't want to sort of like iterate this thing and have importance grow in some way. That's weird or diminish, right? So it sort of feels like this should be one. Um, so a lot of these things are too much. We can do some of them. Peron Frobenius theorem is a good thing, so we'll write that out on the next page, um, and we'll get these things. So we'll get a real eigenvalue. Um, yeah, real uh, entries to be real, non-negative, and a unique solution. So we can I ask for that, right? So this is, we have a real eigenvalue, dominant eigenvalue, which is greater than all of the others, um, positive. <sighs> yeah, we can choose a basis vector that has non-negative entries, right? Again, that's up to us, of course. Uh, they're all the same sign. And there's some all also other good things, right? So there's, there's if we've got real, if we've got positive entries in A, then the minimum, this is the minimum sum of one of the columns or the rows, then um, maximum's bounded. So these, these are all kind of nice things. Uh, and all the other eigenvectors will have one or more, they'll have some signs flipped, right? So you can kind of see the others as being maybe not kind of the sort of character that we'd like. Um, yes, lots of things. So it's a pretty good matrix, right? And if it's symmetric, then uh, you, you get other easy things. All right, so that's, that, that means that that sort of, that method, you know, it's roughly gives us something, and people have used it quite a bit. Um, if it's irreducible, meaning there's, there's just one component, that's good. Um, uh, you can break it into different groups, da, 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 different networks. That's fine. That's not a big deal. 